Pueblo Cultural Center is located in El Paso, just north of the Rio Grande. Visitors come to the center to learn about some of the state's original residents, the Pueblo or village people. Amanda walks into the courtyard and watches a traditional eagle dance performed by Tigua tribal social dancers. She's excited at what she sees. Look at those feathers. That dance, it does really look like an eagle. My ancestors used to perform this dance many years ago. The eagle dance is a tribute to the great American eagle, which is respected and honored by our Pueblo people. Next, Amanda heads into the museum where she meets Raphael a council member of the Tigua tribe. My people have been here for over 330 years. We established the Pueblo of Isla de Azul in the year 1682 after a great Pueblo revolt in 1680. My people are originally from the Pueblo of Coray and the Pueblo of Isla, both of those Pueblos being in, in southern New Mexico. The Tigua fought hard for this land. Since the region is dry and windy, they knew the river would be important for their survival. In order to water their crops, they created extensive irrigation ditches. Uh, we also farm a lot, and uh, if you would go out to our community, we do still practice farming. We do grow corn, squash, peas, watermelon, gourds. So our people are still very involved in farming. Do you also bake bread? Uh, yes, we do. My people still bake Pueblo Indian bread like they've done for over years in this area. Amanda is glad that the Tigua still practice their traditions, and her stomach is happy too. While she waits for the freshly baked bread to cool, she heads to the courtyard to watch the buffalo dance. Hi, what is the buffalo dance for? Well, the buffalo dance was performed prior to the buffalo hunt in order to ensure a successful hunt. The female dancers represent the buffalo maidens, and the male dancers represent the buffaloes. Why don't you stay and watch me perform it? I would love to. Amanda learns that many native cultures, including the Tigua Indians, depended heavily on the buffalo herds that once roamed Texas. She now also understands the importance of the buffalo dance. The tribe would utilize every part of the buffalo, items such as clothing, food, and even tools. After the buffalo dance, Amanda wanders back into the Cultural Center Museum to finish her tour with Raphael. That's beautiful pottery. Do you still make pottery today? Uh, yes, sir. Pueblo still does. Uh, there's still a few traditional artists, pottery artists, would still go up to the mountains and gather red clay, and they still put their traditional Pueblo designs on the pottery. Is this where your people lived? Yes, uh, this picture is actually a picture of our old Pueblo. houses were built of adobe bricks and wooden biga. Biga being a, a wooden beam that runs across the roof and adobe being mud and straw which is sun-baked and then that's how the structures were built. Isleta del Sur Pueblo is one of three Native American tribes in the state of Texas with our people, our proud people, still producing pottery, farming, and making beautiful Native American artwork. And still performing amazing dances. Now that the bread is cool, Amanda picks up her freshly baked loaf and settles down to reflect on her day. As she gazes at the dancers in the courtyard, she is fascinated by this rich culture. The Tigua Indians not only made many adaptations to their land, but they maintain traditions that are still celebrated today.